So let's go and put some wardrobe on here. I'll go to wardrobe, I'll go and uh, double click into my tactical assault outfit here. And this list looks a little bit overwhelming right now. Notice I'm on products here, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. This list looks a little bit overwhelming. It's almost like saying all files here. I'm looking at everything that is in this product. But if I wanted to apply that to a figure, I mean, which icon do I click for God's sake? There's like 400 million icons in here. I don't know what that means. And again, it's where smart content makes this really easy for you if you know how it works. So all files means it'll display all files that come with the product. If you select accessories, you will only see things that are accessories, which is the male and the female respirator. But those are just, you know, small things on the figure. They're not the whole outfit. So in case you needed this respirator on a different figure, you can go here to accessories and just have a look at that. Materials will do the same thing. It'll show you all the materials that you can apply on objects. And wardrobe will show you all the wardrobe items that come with the product. But currently it shows you everything. So if you go and click this little triangle icon here, you'll expand this and then you can filter things down. This is essentially like a filter. These are all files. These are only the accessories. These are only the materials. These are all the wardrobe items. But again, it's everything. You can click into armor and that'll show you all the armor pieces or only the gloves or only the pants or only the shirts. So that's how this works. This is how, once you understand that concept, it's really easy to find content and how to uh, kit bash things together as well. Like, you know, get the respirator from here, but get a dress out and maybe get a hair prop from somewhere else. And it's seriously cool. Under outfits here, we have things that are called wearable presets. And they're things that let you apply a whole outfit made up of various bits and pieces onto one character. So in this case, we have three. It looks like we have a complete set of female, complete set of uh, female for night, and a complete set of female without the helmet. I'll go and use the first one here. Double click that with my figure selected. This is kind of an important lesson that we need to learn. If you have a figure selected and then you apply a clothing item, that studio will automatically fit it to the figure. Even if auto fit is necessary, if you have a clothing item from older generations, then that studio needs to go through an auto fit process to make that work. And there we have it. That's my outfit applied. And it consists of various bits and pieces. So we have the glasses and the respirator and we have the jacket and we have, you know, whatever else here, gloves and face plates and stuff. They're now all no longer showing here in the scene tab. That's because they're parented. So these are all these items. Well, most of these items, there's others that are parented elsewhere and they are just cleaning up the scene tab here. Parented means uh, you have an object at the top of the hierarchy and whatever you parent it to it moves with it when you move the top object. There we go. Control Z will undo that. And we can try the second one. And there we go. Same outfit, but with different material presets applied there. This is a very complex outfit. It's some outfits are much, much simpler. They just have a shirt or they just have a dress or something or just a, just a skirt or some shoes. In this case, we have everything. But that's kind of cool for wearable presets. It's fairly time consuming to set this up one by one. So you could literally go ahead and go into the wardrobe and pick up your helmet and pick up the shirt. And, you know, so I could maybe go ahead and takes us out with her selected. I can probably go and just apply the shoulder guards like this. That would work, but I'd have to go through this for every single object that makes up this item. But the good thing about having it split up is if you wanted to use these shoulder pads with a different outfit, you can do that. So that's why clothing creators put that into place.